Right, Friday, Friday, oh, I'm losing my days now, sorry. Sunday, Sunday evening, um, at nine o'clock. So, absolutely knackered. Got up about <coughs> half three, left at four, down to the tunnel. Um, all the paperwork you need now. My you, there's only about three bits I had to show them. Uh, vaccination. Um, statement to say we haven't got COVID and proof that had a test within 72 hours. No one bothered searching the vehicle, um, had a load of boarders in there, so that was good. Got down here, probably about three hours ago now, down here with a friend Trevor, he's over on the far side. I'll turn the camera around in a minute to show you. I'm back in the same swim, um, the double swim that I fished uh, last year in June when I came over. I'm fishing uh, right up to my left, up into the bay, sorry, two up there, and I've got one down over to my right down in the shallows. Um, <coughs> so that one went off about 40 minutes ago, half an hour ago. It's only been out about an hour. <coughs> Solid bag, just pushed down into the bay where I saw some fish. And that just ripped off with a 40 pound seven mirror. So lovely start. So I'm, um, somewhere I'm hoping, I know this is crazy, but I'm hoping it's not too much activity this evening, tonight. I'm desperately get some sleep. But I've got a bit of bait out up to my left. Um, Nothing down to my right, literally just put the solid bags out. Yeah, still down there now. So I turn the camera around, you can have a look. Tomorrow, um, it's gonna be hot, about 30 degrees tomorrow. Cooling down a bit now. Um, might put out some adjustable zoos out for most of the day. Um, on two of them anyway, maybe leave one out on, on the bottom. And then, um, I'm evening, put back out on the bottom again. But 12 nights, so plenty of time to play around with sort of set up. Though, to be honest, I'm a solid bad man a lot of my time, so works for me everywhere about home in the UK, over here. <coughs> so I won't mess too much with that, but sort of bait application probably more than anything. It's really hot, it's been hot for the last few days, it's going to be hot again for the next few days. No rain forecast now until possibly Wednesday or Thursday. Um, don't know if I really want to be putting too much bait out. They haven't been fished for, so I don't think I need to put a lot of bait out to get a bite. Um, just take my ear, really. Just love it, be down again. So peaceful down here. Really nice. Let me turn around the camera. Give it two. Hold on. All right, just turn down the ice a bit. That's right there. So, have one down to the right, down to the shallows, down that way. Woods actually down there. Just down to my right, that little spot down there. Just lob down into the shadows. The other two are just round there. <coughs> Pushing up. I think there's two minutes. There you go. There's <coughs> And fishing up, up to the top of the bay. That's how I'll give you a proper look tomorrow. You can uh, see for yourself if I can actually get my butt out of bed early. I might get up and start to see some film, hopefully see some fish. There's a few fish showing out in front of me now. <coughs> but 
because every chance that tomorrow I will be lying in until quite late. And it's been one day, a hell of a day. Anyway, we rambling on. Let's tell you, one last look over this way, because this is where the fish are showing. They are out in this area, out here. Wait a minute. out there and definitely some down behind that tree basically overhanging there down in that shallows at the moment and so oh, one bait down there hopefully that will go off again at some point but maybe hopefully not too soon right I love and leave it and I'll see you again in the morning right Sorry I haven't been uh, doing anything for a while, but um, it's now, what's the time? Time is now 7 o'clock. And I'm only just doing this one now because I lost a fish. First one of the trip I've lost, felt a good fish, but then most of them in there are good fish, so a bit gutted, but here we are. Um, I've had my rods in virtually all day. Um, baited up about 12 o'clock, put some out on my left hand rod and I did put some bait out there on my right hand which I haven't done up till now and it's a right hand rod that just went off. I think what's happening is the fish are moving down to the right down in the shallows at night and then come the morning they're moving up to the top end of the lake and that's where I sort of picked up a couple of uh, this morning, but we'll see. I mean, it's only the first 24 hours, so we'll see if a pattern emerges. Water's very warm, and in fact, the wave is it is warm out there, like bath water. Spent an hour or so, um, helping Gary put out the aerator out in the lake, set that up up the dam in the lake, so that's running now. And I'm looking at um, putting in a new aeration system, sort of um, diffuser type one where the pipe air lines run down the bottom of the lake and come up from diffusers out in the lake, put maybe three or four of those diffuser types out from the dam and then I'm thinking about putting the solar one opposite where I am now out there because I don't have to run electric right round to that point, um, but I could set up a solar um, system over there and run the airlines from over off opposite where I am. So I might have a wander around over there tomorrow and look out and see if it's uh, feasible or not. But as temperatures seem to be uh, creeping up and we get really hot dry periods, we need masses of oxygen and aeration in the lakes. So it uh, costs a bit but you know what, compared to losing your fish, it's a cheap method. So, um, look into that and get it all sorted out when I get home. But at the moment, we've got the old aerator, um, a flotation type one, better than the old aerator, um, paddle wheel type ones you used to have, but it's still a surface one. Well, I think the, um, the pipe type diffuser, airline type ones, look better. We've got them in at Millstone and they should be working well. No one seems to be hooking up on them so uh, I think we'll give it a go on here. Really it's coming at the bite time now so uh, I'm hoping I might get a few more chances or if not tonight. It's looking lovely out there. Cooling down now thank, thank goodness warm but nothing like it was earlier and tomorrow's gonna be a hot one and probably Wednesday as well and then there's a chance of rain and it starts cooling a bit Thursday onwards but it is what it is you've got to make the best of it so 
just sit back with a drink, chill out, and if I get a fish, I'll uh, video it for you. Right, catch you later. First fish of the evening. Hopefully a few more tonight. Smallest fish of the trip, but nice start to the evening. There we are. Right, get her back. Pull the uh, foot up the other line, so I'll really do both rods now. Bit of a pain, but anyway. Get her back. There we go. Bit of a two-tone. Yeah, 41.8. Well pleased with this one. So, I had that common earlier. Just sitting down having a coffee. Because it wiped my rods out, both of them. So I had to re tackle. Did all that. Yeah, it's well worth it. Beautiful fish. Alright, babe. Well, I'll take some photos. Get back. Lovely. It's a really good fight as well, so amazing. So, uh, oh, that's down. There we go. £37 for what, about 5, 6 o'clock in the morning now. Bite time. Lovely fish. Look at Chalene. Wild fish, this one. Lovely. Caught my right hand, no, left hand rod this one. Just up the side there, up into that bay. Not far up. Absolutely ripped off. Lovely. Right, right back. Went off. Bit bigger this boat. It's a clean fish. Forty-eight pound, forty-eight four to be precise. I can't believe this trip. How many forties I've had out? Trev over there, he's had a load over to over fifty. This is only our second morning. <laughs> Man, but lovely fish. I'll take a photo, get it back. Get the rod back out, it's definitely bite time. So, see if we can catch a few more. Tuesday morning, um, probably about 8 o'clock by now. Let me check my phone to see what time, but I'm sitting here having a coffee. Had those two fish this morning and had that common last night. So, what, 24? Seven pound common, um, thirty-seven mirror, and forty-seven. Yes, it was as well. Forty-seven mirror. Double check my phone. Write all my notes down with the weights and times I caught them to see if there's a pattern building up and which rod I caught them on. <coughs> Definitely seems to be now the action's moved from down the right that first night. All the fish came down on the right on that rod down to the shallows. Lost that one yesterday on that rod, but that was it, and that was in the evening. And since then, 
everything from on that left hand side. Um, I'm thinking I might move uh, the right hand rod of those two over there onto the going up towards the dam. I might ship one out with a bait boat out towards the pole. I know Trevor's sort of picking up fish out in that sort of area. So I said at the moment I'm just putting two rods on one spot so <coughs> in some ways I might as well put one out towards that and see if I can pick up a few bonus fish as well. Like I say I'm it's early days, so I've got twelve nights, so it's worth doing what I've been doing, just sitting it out in the sand, but and also I just can't be bothered with using the bait boat. I think it bores me to him. Much rather like cast out, but you know, I might just got one out there and just do do maybe do twenty four hours with one out there and just see if that gets a result. Um, <coughs> Other than that, I'm happy with what I'm doing. So I put a fair bit of bait out yesterday because I had that, I'd had those six fish the night before. Even though it's been really hot and the water is really warm, very warm. Um, I feed in so probably put about six kilo out, seven kilo actually yesterday. All from there's no pole boarding in it. Um, that was split between the left hand side and up towards the dam and down to the right down the shallow. So I didn't put as much down to the shallow, put more out to the left at that area. <coughs> I was a bit worried, not worried, but I've wondered where I've overdone it. But I've had fish, obviously feeding on it. A bit of from there's a lot of tiny little fish in here um, so I'd have fish up a lot of those little bits as well so I'm not too worried about it wasn't expecting that, it looks like it's about to rear in let me get on with bits and pieces so this is uh, made me realise <laughs> don't always take it out to about midday So, I'd say three more minutes and that rod would have been in. And I'd have missed it. Well, lovely fish. Right, quick snaps and I think I will rear them. Or maybe leave it to 12. <laughs> I'll decide in a minute. Right, I've uh, got the rods out, 2.30 in the afternoon, now Tuesday. Cast out the right hand rod then in the bay. Two rods here on the left and the right hand rod on this area. I'll put out with the bait boat, uh, just to see if it makes any difference. Trevor's catching regularly over the so other side with his bait boat, but then so am I. He's catching more in the morning though. In the bait boat, so uh, what I've done is I've put my um, left hand rod back up there into the bay, same area, same wraps as I'm, I'm always doing, solid bag as usual, but put in the boat with some extra crumb in there. Right hand rod I've actually sent off um, to, so I've got my hand in there somewhere, about there, that area over there, <coughs> probably about 90 yards. I've seen a lot of bubbling over there the um, last couple of days. So I boated it out, solid bag from, give that a go for, I'll probably keep it there actually all day and tonight I'll, I'll um, when I bring it in I'll uh, clip it wrap it and see what uh, distance and then keep sending it out there until tomorrow 
um, lunchtime. Don't get in the hen, I'll move it again and try a different area. It's a bit of a trial and error with that one. I'm happy with one rod on the left hand onto the air on me catching, so if there's anything there, I'll probably pick it up with that one anyway. So the right hand is a bit more of a tester, really. So I'll move it about, see if I can find another area, another spot that will produce for me. Um, when I reeled in the right hand rod down in the bay at lunchtime of the day, it had no bait on, so it had been crayed, which is unusual. I'd left that in a long time though, so what I need to do with that is change it about every four to six hours. No, I've now put a bit of plastic corn on that one uh, for today, but I'll probably go back to the um, dumbbell often that I've been catching all the fish on. We'll see if I catch one on that. I'll stick with the plastic, fantastic, but um, I'm surprised. I don't normally get a cray problem, but down in that sort of shallow area where it's hot, maybe they're uh, coming out and chewing away at the baits. Well, clearly they are. <coughs> anyway, that's the plan for the next few hours. I'll uh, reel in about seven, eight o'clock tonight. Maybe it doesn't get dark here till about ten. We do them. Probably about eight actually. I'll do them about eight o'clock and uh, leave them out for the night. Like I say, I seem to be catching night time and into morning, even up to about eleven o'clock. That one I was this morning, I was about to reel in and it rattled off literally two minutes later and I've reeled that rod in about four forty five. So I definitely haven't got up till at least midday to have a chance at the moment. Anyway, if you get anything happening sooner, I'll uh, see you on it, but otherwise I'll uh, see you later on. Sorry for the uh, daffing on the lens, it's uh, sun's just over to my left there. But, Wednesday morning, I don't know, I'm uh, having a bit of a rethink. Last night, well, since um, about 11 o'clock yesterday, I haven't had a touch. Two bleeps in the night. Apart from that, um, absolutely nothing. There's a Trevor opposite. I got about one o'clock in the morning for a pee and he's into a fish then. He's into another one now. And the way it looks, I'm sure he had a few more during the night. So either I'm doing something totally wrong or they've just literally moved away from me. I'm feeling I might be doing something wrong. Um, I broke the bait boat out yesterday for the first time. Put them out with that. I put mesh bags on rather than um, solid bags because they're in the boat. Um, I don't know if that made a difference. Four o'clock this morning, I reeled in two of them. The left hand rod up the side here and one down to my right, down into the bay. I reeled those ones in, put them out again with solid bags, but still nothing. Oh, no. Let's have a think. Um, it shouldn't be too difficult to catch at the moment. If they're not here, they're not here, they're not going to catch anything, but I heard them during the night. They were up there, up to the top end towards the dam on my side and they were down in the bay so the fish are out oh, i'm not catching them so i uh, sit and have a coffee have a think and uh decide what i do i'll let you know right. turn you around you might better see trevor doing what i should be doing playing a fish He's over there somewhere. Oh, yeah, Trevor. Oh,
Trevor's doing something right. <laughs> I don't know what. Been having a few problems with um, dropping fish. He's lost about five. Um, using pop up Ronnie Reef, which I must admit I don't like. Years back when they first came out, I tried them. I dropped a few fish, so I just moved everything back onto multi reefs and stopped dropping them. So, find out today if he's changed anything. Uh, Five's a lot. They've got hard mouths in here. It's obviously just the way they're picking them up. Whether the runny weight spins so much, it's just catching them out of them. That part of the mouth, I don't know. But just have a look at that. He does anyway. He's never tied up a multi reef, so I said I'd show him how to do that. Give it a shot on one rod, see if it works, or two or three. He's happy to. Well, except that you're going to drop fish, so I don't think you want, you want, don't want to drop in fish like that. Not in here when virtually everything is big. He's getting it close. Right. I'll leave him to it. Sit back, have my coffee and have a think. Right, catch you later. So, coming on to... John Seven on Wednesday evening. Oh, it's been roasting today. Absolutely, 20, uh, 31 degrees, but it's so humid. It felt like we've had a blanket wrapped around all day. It's horrendous. Even now, it's about 25. Um, normally, about this time, it's really still the air cooling down. Yeah, it's quite, actually quite cold at night, which is lovely. Tonight it's going to be a hot one, I think it's humid and horrendous tonight. Chance of thunderstorm, but nothing at the moment. Um, what's happened? I have blanked now for 24 hours. Um, <coughs> since I put the bait boat out, I haven't had a run, so <coughs> as of now, I've ditched it and gone back to putting out the solid bags, casting them out. Um, see what happens. <coughs> I did put two earlier on long down to uh, the dam with the bait boat. Had a pick up on the right hand rod, like a slow drop back. Sort of reeled down and lined it on to the right. Reeled and reeled. <coughs> and the sun felt some grating and then the line went. So I ditched that. Only fishing as far as I was not prepared to uh, lose fish like that. <coughs> right hand rod I put on the zig all day, um, the one down in the bottom bay. Had a strange pick up on that one, that tried to left, reeled, reeled, absolutely nothing. So, a bit of a disaster for the last 24. Um, and to rub it in, Trevor's been hauling away, well, not hauling, but he's regularly catching. Um, had him up to 59. Big one, I was watching them trying to get it out of the lake, I thought that's a big fish. Not 59. <coughs> so, uh, he's doing something right, and I'm not. I mean, they are down the bottom, both ends, but there's fish there, so, uh, but not where I'm fishing, or I'm not presenting properly. Change the hook baits around a little bit for tonight, um, not a lot. <coughs> See what happens. By the morning, if by so it's now Wednesday evening, by um, give it two more nights. So Saturday morning, I might move up onto the dam, even though it's bloody hot up there. Not the ruddy quite so hot. I might move up there and just fish out. There's a lot of fish in the boat. <coughs> I'm fishing up to, but they're quite tight up the other side as well, and just a little shut from. Off the dam, 
feel much more comfortable about that. <coughs> anyway, I might absolutely hammer it for the next couple of days and I won't move. Like I say, there might be a thunderstorm this evening. There might be a little bit of rain tomorrow. I think it's Saturday. Which might liven it up because it has been so hot. But that's the condition you've got. The fish are showing. They have been rolling, sticking their heads out. So they're on the move. They're moving the feeding. <coughs> what I did was I spread um, a few borders out with a throwing stick in the air. I'm fishing both up to my left and down to my right. So it's just moving about, picking up the old borders. And then I've got my bag there with what I'm boiling inside that. <coughs> Rather than putting a lot of crumb out. Just see. Just change it round. A lot less bait out because it's so hot. To see if I can nick a bite or two tonight. Anyway, if I do, I'll be there with it. If not, I'll see you in the morning when hopefully it's a lot stronger. Now. Right. Love if you get one, get off the mark. But so from 48 hours, there's a bit of a, not a thunderstorm, but really close last night a few, bit of rain a bit of lightning but no thunder but, right. get this one back get the other one out it's about eight o'clock thursday evening had those two fish this morning and nothing since had a fair bit of showery weather all day a little bit of rain now but showers again um, I've had a little bit of a rethink, not much, but my left hand rod, I'll just turn this around a bit so you can see. Um, I had a wonder along with my way just down that margin. Um, Try to get to it with a bait bow or anything else, but we wait along, found some nice um, rubbing spots, nice and clean, um, and some just like totally sort of uh, either been fed on or, or have been rubbing on. Some are clearly uh, rubbing spots because there's like a big rock or a, um, a root right in the middle of the spot where the fish have been rubbing up against it and flanking. Um, <coughs> so I've walked a, a bait down there like I say you have to put the rod right in the water because of the bushes that hang out it's almost like a, a one one tape spot that if it happens in the middle of the night um, that lot's all been brought back in and I just chuck it out in the pond for the night but I thought I'd just put one there just to uh, see if I can get a taste from it so a bit different and my right hand well the middle rod same spot out where I've been catching from and um, let's get it around here that's my right hand down here I'm uh, fishing it out into the pond Took the uh, bait boat out with the echo sounder uh, to spot I've seen some fish out, um, showing and some bubbling over the last few days. Um, I wasn't getting anything down that, just down the right into the uh, bottom bay. Since that first day and a bit, I had like six takes down there, I've had nothing since, so apart from one on the zig. But the conditions aren't right for that at the moment. So, um, Decided to find another spot, and those. So I've seen fish, I've seen sitting out in that area. So I took the bait boat out and zapped it around for a while. There's not much, but sort of roughly the area, it sort of seems to go from six foot up to five, um, five and a half, and then down to six. Um, so I'm just fishing over the back and sort of the six foot area. Give that a go. Um, until tomorrow. So it's totally the idea of moving up into the top bay at some point. 
sorry, I'm talking about yeah, by the dam. It's colder weather. I, I'm wondering whether the fish are actually moving out from the area now. They've been liking up there if it's shallow, hot. Um, but it's cooler, like a bit of rain and everything else. I mean, I've got my hoodie on and drinking bottoms the first time since I've been here. So I'm sort of wondering those fish are moving out and just like a deeper water. So I don't want to do anything until maybe Saturday and see what happens. Look, rain's starting, so I'll have to stop for a while. So if I get in here, I'll come back to you. It's 11 o'clock now on Thursday. So it's still really early. It's such an absolute beast. Fifty-five pound. in the air, windy, something we haven't had since we've been here, but look at that, what an absolute beast. Right, get some pictures from the album. Look at that, look at you, lovely. About six o'clock. Been up since five is what's in the water. And the same rod that went last night. Still it again. It's another 50, 51 and a half. So well pleased with that. Absolute. What a fighter. Put it in the net. It's a net cord. It's steam off. I was getting worried I'd lose it. Oh, look at that. Absolute fighting machine. 51 and a half. Third fifth of the trip. Was it seven or eight courses now? We'll check later. But well chuffed. And conditions are looking good. Get back, get the rod back out, and hopefully a couple more. Right. Right, time for a diary piece. It's um Friday afternoon and I've moved swim. We're looking straight across now to where I was, over there in the, sort of that double swim. And now I'm over on the right hand side of the dam. Um, the same fish have been showing for the last few days in this sort of bay to my right here. And out in front. And uh, yeah, I could boat them up here, bait boat them up, but I don't like doing that. I'd rather fish closer in. Um, there are a few little snags and bits out there, little rocks and that. So I don't want to risk losing fish when I can move and just fish it from here. And also, I've got six more nights, so it's quite nice to have a change, apart from the four later moving. But it's all done now. Moved everything, had a shower, put the rods out. Chill out a bit now. And there's a lovely breeze blowing up this end of the lake. Um, by the looks of it, the forecast at the moment anyway, um, this sort of wind direction is due to stay for the rest of the trip, so it's a good spot to be right at the end of the wind here. Gives me the option also um, to fish down to my left and on the margins or out towards the post, where from over the other side you can't do that because if a fish goes around that post, you, you've lost them. So from here, I feel it just gives me better options for. 
the remaining nights. So you've got six nights. So it's almost like a whole week ahead of me virtually. So, you know, spot on. All I've done at the moment, I've cast out um, one solid bag and two just mesh bags, different type, type presentation. Um, I might bait boat them out later on this evening, put a little bit more bait around them. Um, but at the moment I'm just fishing for a bite. They haven't had anything really in the afternoon here. So if anything comes along, it's just an added bonus. If not, I'll sort of put them in position for the night and probably put the bait boat out. Just put a little bit more um, food out there, might them. We'll say, like I say, like they haven't, we had, <coughs> I think Trevor had one this evening and one this morning as well, but I'm not exactly riffing it up. So, you know, I don't want to put too much bait out, so it might be mesh bags, solid bags. It's enough if I can keep nicking bites. Like they did right that first couple of nights when I arrived, then maybe that's actually the way forward. So it's a new spot. I don't want to stop by just piling loads of bait and ruining it. Just play it slowly. Whatever happens, what, what a trip. 350s, 740s, um, a few 30s, and one or two 20s. So, you know, it's been brilliant anyway. So, Anything from here on in is an added bonus. Don't get me wrong, if I don't catch him, I'll be well pissed off. <laughs> but I can't complain, it's been brilliant. But I did expect we might have a few more. Oh, yeah, you can see that. That's, yeah. That's a fish just there, rocked out. So there's a lot of fish in that bay area. So it's sun swimming. <coughs> just just the ice there. So a lot of rain last night on and off. Nothing mega heavy, but it's steady. Which is more than they've had for a couple of weeks. So you really thought after that they'd have actually gone mad on the feed last night, but <coughs> excuse me. We had absolutely nothing either of us until first thing this morning, which is I found really odd. Normally, when it's been hot, hot, and then the winds come up, get some rain, and just fish just go on the blitz and feed like mad. There's been nothing like that. There's so much natural food in this lake. Um, it's a really rich, mineral rich water as well. It's got a rusty, sort of browny colour. Um, you don't see a lot of lakes like that. Generally, you see those are the ones you see like in Scotland, the lots and lakes up there. They have that sort of, it's a mineral content in them. Um, there's absolutely thousands of swan mussels in this lake. When we drained it down one time, the amount of swan mussels um, literally in the bank there, um, or not the bank, but the, the bed of the lake when we actually drained it down, it is full of them. And of course, they filter a lot there. Uh, the water, they sort of clean it. So, there's masses of food, they're not reliant on angler's bait. Um, and you just have to look at the weights, I mean, those fish we've had, they all spawned a few weeks ago, but they're all just massive still. You know, they might have dropped four pounds, five pounds in weight, but they're still, you know, big forces, fifties. Um, you know, come September, October, then they sort of put the weight back on again towards the end of the year, they'll be massive. But I won't be here. <laughs> Whoever's fishing them, good luck. Yeah, we'd love it to catch them. Also, they'll be in those autumn colours, they'll be looking absolutely stunning. I'll just uh, kick back, sit back, relax, enjoy it. If I do manage to get one, I don't think I will, but if I do, I'll uh, get the camera on and show you the fish again. Catch you later.
Right, I've come out of hiding in the sun, the sun's dropped away. It's probably about half eight now. What is it? Yeah, half eight. Sun's dropping away. Night's a bit low for video, but what the hell. We're out on the lake. Lovely evening. Starting to cool down, like I say. Wind's dropped down as well. So that's calm. There's a fair few fish out in this bay. Probably a lot of fish out here, but there's a fair few showing. I had nothing all afternoon, but then it didn't surprise me. Rebated about half six. And that'll be me until they rattle off all the morning. Well, I might redo the one with the solid bag on. Might do that. But I'm hoping this is where the fish are. They feel like a little nibble. I haven't got a lot of bait out at all. Um, Hoping that they might uh, get their heads down. Do you know, at the moment, I have a feeling those fish are just sitting on the edge of where that had racer. I've actually cast a little bit further out, but I did think, I wonder if I should cast them where the oxygen is or the air from that is just spreading out. There's a lot of fizzing just there. I'll keep an eye on it, I might bring that one in and just put it out there. It's almost too good to miss really, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Like I say, I'll give it another hour. It doesn't get dark here to take on ten. And even then when it gets dark, it takes about another hour before it's fully dark. Look, it's about to eleven o'clock here now. That's lovely, got a really long evening. But the rods are out, and to be honest, after having that 50 this morning and the one last night, the average size has just been unbelievable. If that continues for the next six nights, I'll live a very happy man. Sometimes it's good to be greedy. So I'm hoping a lot more big fish before I leave. Let's see how we get on. Anyway, I'll, uh, if I, as before, if I get anything, I'll video it. If not, I'll see you tomorrow morning. Mm. Yeah, sick. Come on. Flip one pound nine. Now she got off the mark on a new swim. How about that? A bit lively. White. Quite a really good fight. How's she coming up there? Um, Sit down. Right. So it's a bit lively, so I'll put her back. There we go. There we are. Thank you. I have to say, it's looking particularly gorgeous out there. Got the mist rising off the lake. Where else would you like to be? Cowbells in the background. Fish rising off the lake, fish crashing out of it so often, and I had one. I thought I'd had more than that though, I thought last night. There's a lot of bub fishing came just out to my right, I had my rod. I was quite confident with the left hand, that's where I had that one from the other side, not the same sort of zone the night before. But also have one right down, right to the down, 
chucked down into the bay where a lot of fish have been shown. I thought that might have gone. But nothing on those, it's the one I've had the previous two fish from out towards the post, not on it but in that sort of direction. I was surprised, I thought the right hand rods would have gone. Oh well. So it's still early, bite time really is up to about 12 o'clock. 11, it's not been too generous, about 11 o'clock, so not a few more hours yet. That's another bite. I did think last night, I did not really think about baiting, there wasn't a lot of bait out there last night. I said that it hurts. <laughs> But we're getting a bit more changeable, a bit, a bit more showery. Um, it was quite hot yesterday again. There was a bit of a breeze blowing right down here. Still now, but I think it's getting up and there should be some storms, uh, thunderstorms. I heard it rumble over last night, but nothing happened. But I think there might be some thunderstorms today. So I might put a bit more bait out for the next few nights. But maybe even today, put a lot more out tonight. Or today, sorry and then sit on it. You know, I thought, was it Saturday Sunday? Well, five more nights, so I can afford to put a bit more out and try and make it happen. Then if I blank tonight, and tomorrow, just don't put a lot out, just go back to putting bags and whatever out until that bait's gone. Might be worth trying. I'll see. Decide later. Anyway, I thought I'd savour this moment with you before I have my coffee. I'm going to sit back, chill, enjoy the moment. Seven fish of the morning. Again, the same size pretty much as the last one, 31. So it's quite nice. Different spots now, so nice catch surface in two different areas. Yeah, I'm not back now. 31 pound. That one was on the right hand rod down into the bay. Sort of quite close in to the side. Yeah. So, uh, two in the morning, so I'm happy with that. And two different areas. Pretty much this side, I'm going to bait up now, we're going forward from this swim. Five knots. Five knots ago. And they are lively. Yeah. Right, go back, get the rod out. There we go. It's uh, six o'clock Sunday morning. We've had one. Um, been really slow in terms of night time. I really think we're going to have fish and then nothing happens. All action seems to be um, first light. Not even up till 12 anymore, or 10, 11. Seems to be like, yesterday I had like two um, really quickly early hours. This one now, there's still a chance of... It's only six o'clock now, so still a chance of more, but it seems to be a really short window. You can hear them all night, but they're not feeding. Well, not feeding on my bait, anyway. Six three pound. There we go. Yeah. So it's nice to catch, but I feel like I'm doing something not quite right. Maybe not, but it was like I feel like she's catching more. Had a few liners um, over the bait this time around. Uh, so they're out there. So we'll see what we can do. Well, get back, get the rod out. Hoping that one or two more. Lovely morning, it was raining a little while ago, but in the showers and um, changeable now for the rest of the day. So conditions are a lot better, and hopefully, stand a lot better. But we'll see if it um, improves the fishing. Right. Let's get back. 
just showed a view out over the lake. Looking lovely out there. Mist rising. So we've um, had a little bit of thunderstorm last night, rain. Well, I woke up this morning, um, had a few liners, and it was raining. Cleared now, but I think there's more um, coming over all day today, and next few days there's sort of bands of it. I'm hoping that um, after that hot, clear weather we had, that it's, um, the fish really come on. Last few days I feel like I'm stretching, I'm not really getting it right. I've been getting like, last couple of days I've had like two fish a, a day, this morning one so far, but I feel like there's a good chance over the next couple of hours of another one. But overall I just feel like, start the trip, you know, I had like six, five, but, you know, the fish were unawares and suddenly got caught a few trebles catching and, and they slowed up shop a bit but even so I've been fishing um, wafters in a solid bag and now I've moved up this end I've actually been doing it on the leg slip system and I've moved two these two in front here I'm going to move back onto solid bags one I've put on a pop up one chip on the wafter. <coughs> um, the other rod I'm just going to leave. It's out in the sealtier area, so I'll leave it on the leg slip. Um, <coughs> that's the one that seems to dump most of the fish. That one on the left, um, out, out in open water. These two rods. I've only done one bite, and that was right down to the right, tight in. Well, not tight, tight, but. I've been in the bay, shallow water. So, I need to mess it up a bit. So I might put a bit more bait out. Um, a lot of crumb, body crumb, brown bait. Um, nothing, only a few solids mixed in with it. Get them rooting around. That's why I thought to do the solid bags. Since so they're not moving around much. Um, I don't want a long hook link. If I took rub them around on the bottom, the solid bag will work better for him. So I think I'll go back to that. <coughs> Other than that, I'm all chopping out in front of where I was. <laughs> I always find in this lake they move within about 10 hours. Fish that were sort of tight up in here. You suddenly see them out in front of the area where you're fishing to. Always happens. Probably every day it's the same, but they seem to move very quickly on here. It's an area where there's no lines on it. Even though I'm back led in, I've got my lines right down. They're off. It does pay on here to have maybe three of, you know, there's only two of us on, but to have more anglers on. So the lines keep moving around the lake a lot more. <coughs> but at the moment, there's quite big areas where they can go, no lines, no pressure, and they're off. That's why I wonder if I might put a bit more bait out, give them something to ho try and hold them with. At the moment, I'm not using a massive amount, and I'm picking up the fish drifting through, rather than quite a lot of them moving in and getting their heads down. We'll see. Anyway, lovely morning. I had a coffee, maybe I'll have another one. Sit and ponder, you know what it's like when you're fishing. You sit here and thinking all the things you should be doing. Always thinking, always thinking. Never, I never feel like I've got it quite right. I just need to change a bit. I just fish down there. It's all showing right down. <coughs> right. On that note, I'm off. Catch you later. Uh, oh. Right. You fell up. Get back.
still fighting mad. Yeah, 35 pounds. Lovely fish. <laughs> this is so mad, Thomas. I don't know what it is about them. They just fight so hard. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to take out long. You can see she's a bit, a bit feisty. Anyway, that's two this morning, so I'm happy about that. This is this one. Get back. Lovely. Good job. I thought I'd uh, quickly get the camera out now before. Uh, the rain's come, it's uh, about 6 o'clock in the evening. We had horrendous thunderstorms for hours and hours this morning, early afternoon. So I was literally locked down in the bivvy, flooded. I reckon uh, the lake came up a couple of inches. <laughs> it's not a bad thing. But even so, after um, a bit later on, I took the water temperature, it's only the margin, so only indication, but that was 26 degrees in there. So it's like bath water. Even after that heavy rain, it's still incredibly uh, hot. So uh, few fish are showing, but nowhere near. I thought to Trevor, nowhere near the number I thought after that heavy rain. I thought the fish would be showing everywhere. Whether a bit like us are a bit um, battered by the sheer intensity of it, <laughs> I don't know. But uh, the rods are out. Um, left hand rod out towards the right of the pole out there. We had that fish this morning. Um, the other two, Dagley out to my right. Out. Let's see if I can show you where, where are we? So we are. Out here and here. Number two. 14 rats. Evans at 14 rats. That's what I've been catching. I'm keeping it simple. There's nothing on the bottom really to sort of find. So I'm just sort of baiting an area, building up some bait. <coughs> and I would say the last two days I've had a couple of fish. I had some pick up on the right hand rod, I think, in that storm. Um, it dropped back about an inch or so, and then didn't move. I went to reel in, um, and it was snagged up, so I went out in the boat to um, try and just lift the leg, I thought maybe just lock behind the rock. But it went out to one bit, and then to the right to another, and clearly I'd had a pick up. And that was on the leg clip, set up. It only dropped about an inch, nothing more, and then didn't move again. And it swam right down to the right, so... I've actually gone back to two on the solid bag. The inserts from these solid bags actually pull out quite easily. Um, so if I get a pick up, by the right, if it runs, that'll pull out the insert and it becomes like a running system, um, which is what I was using before. <coughs> and hopefully I'll get much better indication if anything like that happens again, I'll be straight on it. So we both, Trevor and Luke, have both had where we've had fish kite to the right and literally I was single bleep, which in the middle of the night you could sleep through and literally nothing, you wake up in the morning and the line's no, still tight but it's about 20-30 yards to the right of where you left it just tight line, one bleep it's madness so anyway we'll see what happens it's looking good for it. There's more rain, um, possibly thunderstorms now. They're saying rain rather than thunderstorm, but there's a front moving over. It's all coming up from Spain. And then later on, um, clear. And then showery tomorrow. In fact, in the next few days, it's pretty showery. So, look, tomorrow, Tuesday morning, we've got to be up to all of a sudden at 9-ish, 9.30 get a Covid test we have to do you know, within 48 hours of going home 
that's all free on the French system, unlike the Brits, the French don't charge you. So, go and do that, and then when we go back, we'll have the results in, um, this email to us. So, we can show those when we go back to the border on Thursday, say that we've had a test, it's negative. No, I don't know what good it does, because you say you're positive, it's still happy to let you in, so, and you have to quarantine, so that's a bit, don't really understand the benefit of it, but hey-ho. <coughs> In fact, I've sat here now since we arrived, I haven't been off the lake. I think my chances of getting COVID are about zero. It's a bloody miracle I've managed to get it. Oh, I just feel like that. A bit of rain coming. So, I'm going to turn it all off, pack it down, get under cover before it's absolutely saturated. So, hopefully I'll see you later with the fish, unless it's absolutely pouring down, which goes on the get the camera out. Which shows it in the morning. But hopefully later with the fish, the big fish. Catch you later. Morning. It's uh, Monday morning now, about 8 o'clock. The battery light is flashing, so that's going to blow out in a minute. Let's change the battery. And nothing last night again. Um, I had a grass carp, 30 pound grass carp, about 30, I'd say 30 pound, about um, 6 o'clock this morning. It's too blessed, I don't, I just unhook them. I quickly weighed that one to see what it was, put it back, but normally I just. And hook, if I can, and hook them in the net and let them go, but that one was going wild in the net, so I put it in retention, and I thought I'd just weigh it and see what it weighs. But they're just too ballistic, they start damaging themselves, so I don't like to keep them out for very long. Anyway, that's been it. <coughs> I'm hopeful, we've still got a couple of hours of bite time. Seems to be one or two, well, been at the moment, in this swim, two fish a morning, but it's all between five six o'clock uh, really by nine i'm over so my right hand rod which is sort of um out over let's see if i can find my finger where's my finger there that one's there the left one's there um the right hand one i'm gonna push down more to the right down into the bay for the day anyway at least <coughs> See if I can make something happen. But I'm really struggling over here to get any sort of bites outside of those sort of times. You know, it is what it is, can't do anything about it. So, I thought I'd video now because the rains were heavy last night again. Um, and it uh, looks like we're due to, we had some heavy rain about 4 o'clock ish, 5 o'clock. And it's pretty much grey. The forecast in rain, thunderstorms again today, so thought I'd make the most of it and get the camera out now. <coughs> but not much more to report. So if I get something and it's dry enough to film it, I'll uh, show you the fish. If not, I'll. Uh, See you later when it's a bit drier again. Right, catch you later. Eight o'clock in the morning. It's like a beautiful 40 pound common. Oh, careful. Oh, Really nice. Do like big common. Small ones I'm not so bothered about, but these ones are gorgeous. Yeah, actually bigger than I thought. I thought maybe about in the water. I thought about sort of um, getting on 30 pound, but it's like it's on 40. How am I? Still time. Conditions are good. So it's still time for one more. Let's see. 
and I'll take you close those and I'll get back. Um, this is £41.8. We've uh, got to get our Covid test today, up at all of us on. I caught to 11, so luckily it's after bite time, so uh, we'll uh, get that done and then get results back next day. There. We can uh, show that when we get back at the port on Thursday. Forty one pound eight. Wasn't sure it was gonna to happen today somehow. Normally it's happened by about six o'clock, the first one. But the left hand rod out towards the pole area, well to the right of the pole a bit short of it. It's lovely. Still time though, the other rods are out, I'll put this one out, it's a solid bag, straight back out there. Maybe a chance for another one, but if not, put it on pound eight. I'm not complaining. Lovely. Uh, all right, just on nine, second forty in the morning, forty one nine, I think it is. About to get settled in, reeled in. Oh. Go for a COVID test. Oh. Bloody end to the morning. Oh. Yeah. Lovely long fish as well. Little fighting machine. Oh. Yeah. Oh, let's get it back. Lovely, thank you. Afternoon, Tuesday afternoon, about two o'clock. Been down to Orbison. Done a COVID test for our return journey on Thursday morning. Well, Thursday evening. By the time we uh, get there, back in the late, rods went out about an hour or so ago, and I went and crashed out for an hour. I've been up since five. The blizzard actually two runs in the morning, in the morning bite time. Um, might have been three, but I wiped out my left hand rod this one, this left hand here, with the right hand rod, so I just reeled it in. It wasn't worth putting out again because we're going up to Orbison. Lovely old uh, town, especially the buildings down by the river. Um, lovely cafes and bars, so it's always worth going over there for a day or a few hours, going have a drink out for a meal in the evening lovely spot you know it's just always worth reeling in spending a few hours baiting up and spending a good few hours away from the lake often uh, reel in for a few hours bait up reel in go and do stuff go for a chat get the lines out of the water gives the fish a bit of movement somewhere to go and uh, get a bit of confidence feeding Anyway, the rods are in now. Say, so I'm trying to do anything to get a run during the day. I said to Trevor, what I might do is start spawning. I haven't done any spawning since I've been here, but I might spawn every couple of hours, three or four, just to um, get a noise going. You know, know everyone goes about, oh, make no noise and all that. But sometimes, it's really inquisitive. I know I've been out in the boat and you stir stuff up and come over and see what's going on. So I might just try it. You know, it makes no difference. I'm not catching so until the morning. So maybe the sound of that spawn hitting the water for two times might um, get some fish coming over to a bit of a look. Like I say, letting them sitting on your ass doing nothing and just wondering what's going to happen. Trying to make something happen. So either that or I might take one rod and go down the shallows, but I've been unsuccessful down the shallows. Um, I had a 
rod down, apart from the first day, I had the fish down into the shallows and never had a touch on it. So I'm not being very optimistic by um, doing that. Uh, <coughs> and also, um, there's more rainfall cards coming in, so don't read them, just sitting down there, getting absolutely lashed on. And wind is pushing up here. It looks so good for it up here, but it's just not happening during the daytime. It's literally <coughs> six till nine. That is my time. Anyway, got today, got all tomorrow, and we got bite time Thursday morning. So what I do is Thursday, get up early-ish, pat down everything apart from the bivvy because, like I say, it's due to rain and the rods, leave the rods till about just after nine pack them away so that when Trevor comes around with the car and trailer put everything in and then pack the bivvy down and uh, try and keep everything as dry as you can I mean it might not actually rain while we're doing that but just in case I'll leave the bivvy till after, I'll um, tidy a lot of gear up tomorrow get all sorted so it's actually a bit easier to do it doesn't take me long, I mean, at the end of the day I haven't got much more gear, apart from a little bit more bait, than I normally take for a 24 hour session, so, <laughs> apart from a bait boat, which I don't normally bring, and I've hardly used anyway. We will see what happens, but just enjoy it for now. <clears throat> Two more nights. Potentially a few fish more to go. Be nice for a few more forties. That'd be really greedy, or even worse, or even greedier. Let's get a big fifty out. That would be nice. One more before I go. As before, if I get something, I'll uh, get the camera out, let you see it. But uh, until then, or this evening maybe, I'll sit back, <coughs> chill out in the sun, enjoy it. All right, catch you later. Now this really lively, well not this, I had another one, it's up there in the landing net and then literally as I landed that, this one's gone off, 32 pound, quickly show you and then I'll go and do the other one. Now, lovely double tape and now fizzing like mad out there so I'm going to get this back and just get those rods out. Right. This is a, the first of the double brace, or the brace I should say, not a double brace. Alright, much bigger than the last one, 49 and a half. Um, Nine and a half pound. Oh, that's lovely. And still something, but the masses are fizzing out where this rod was. So I do want to get it back out. Whew. But at 49 and a half, I almost got that magical fish that I wanted. But there we are. Still time. Couldn't get any better, could it? Love it. Let's go back. It's now uh, Wednesday evening. Last evening, packed everything away. Well, tidied everything up. Ready for a pack down in the morning. Um, try and sort of pack sort of uh, bed chair, everything around about sort of half eight, nine and then literally try and pack down everything really and the rods in by ten, half nine just depends on the weather, it's forecast as usual, rain in the morning so uh, might make things a bit more awkward um, 
just have to wait for the trailer to come around with the car and the, van, uh, the trailer. So I don't want the stuff sitting out in the rain. So Bibi might have to stay up until last. And then when he turns up, get everything out of the Bibi, pack it away, and then do that last. But it's been a good trip. 25 fish so far. Still tomorrow morning. I'll say tonight, but I haven't caught a night for the last five days, so I doubt it. Um, what, 350s and 1140s out. Trevor, I'll wait for his final, but I know he's had four 50s out. He must have had at least the same number of 40s as me. So, uh, and he's had a few more fish. So, it's been a brilliant week, or 12 days fishing. Bait, I started off using um, some bait I brought over. Moved over onto that. The old uh, munch bait, has been well impressed. Put well on it. Um, I knew it would because um, I was over here last year, Peter I came over with, who was using this bait then. Um, this is a cream seed. It's a, um, it's a real almondy marzipan flavour. It's quite a sweet bait. Um, soft, needs a 14 mil. Do you know, it doesn't feel any different than the frozen baits. The way it uh, feels, breaks down, texture. And it's just catching just as well as the stuff um, I brought over and we started on. So, you know, that's the plus side. And obviously with this year, we'll be able to sell that here. So people who don't want to risk uh, bringing it down and say we didn't have a problem. But then I was talking to um, Steve, who's a bailiff over at uh, Mayflower. And uh, he, he came over to Sherbourne um, a couple of months ago. And not anglers, but he said that when they were going back over to France, um, they were pulling vehicles, literally everything out, caravans, totally emptying them. Don't know if they, what they were looking for, but um, I didn't have a problem when we went on Eurotunnel. But he said they were pulling everything out of vehicles down there, so who knows. We'll find out more once fishing really takes off and people coming over. Find out whether stuff has been um, searched, confiscated or not. But, you know, we got bait here, so, you know, people don't have that worry. So, the conditions have been perfect the last few days and it's just surprising. Just nothing during the day, nothing in the evening, it's all that early hours of the morning. So, you know, every evening I get anticipation that we might get some, or I might get something, but it never happens. I'll be up about five, hopefully a couple of runs before I have to pack up. On the road, up to uh, Calais, and hopefully get across in about six, seven o'clock tomorrow night, back home. Isolate for five days and then get out to the real world again. So we turn around, let's show you what it's like out there at the minute. It is looking nice. Looking lovely out there. <coughs> There's been a lot of fish showing earlier on today, right down the bottom. I mean, big fish as well. They look massive from here, and that's right down the other end of the lake, so they were big. That is a problem, we've got two anglers on a lake this size. Within days those fish are off and they're down areas where we're not where there's no lines. You need three or more people on there really so there's lines out different spots and the fish can keep moving around. Probably better for fishing. You know, we've got ten acres, they'll just move straight down out into quiet areas. Even though there isn't a lot a lot of pressure on it, they'll just move. 
they've had months and months with no pressure, no lines, no noise. So they're probably more sensitive to it at the moment than they normally would be, but um, they know. Anyway, it is looking gorgeous out there. It'll be a shame to go tomorrow, but some ways looking forward to getting back home now. We've done 12 nights, and uh, it's been fun, but at home to see the family. I'll leave you with that, unless I get something, I'll uh, hopefully see you in the morning, depends if it's raining, it might be a bit difficult. If it is, I'll sign off now and uh, end it there, it's been a fab trip. I'll post all the stuff up onto Facebook, so you can see um, exactly what we thought. I'll try and get hold of the pictures, um, shed stitch as well, I'll post those up onto Facebook. But until next time, I'm booked on here in May next year, so uh, it'll probably be that, or unless I can get over later in the year. There is a chance I might over for another week, but if not, I'll see you all in May next year. Unless, of course, I've seen in the morning and it's dry enough to film. If it's not, see you next time.